This is something that's very important. It's going to help you a lot when developing your own design systems, uh, which is to establish or, uh, conventions for what you name your components or what's going to be the hierarchy for components. Exactly which framework you use for naming doesn't really matter. What matters is that everyone working with you understands and, and, and uses it. The way I name the components is like this. So the taxonomy, so be buttons, input fields, or, or these basic components. And the type, so it's gonna be a primary button or, or secondary button. Depending on the type of component, it can, you can have several types. And then the modifier, uh, which is gonna be the state, which applies for input fields, applies for links, applies for buttons, and for a few others. Putting like, putting this forward slash in between each one of those, um, let's say levels, it's gonna create this folders to keep organized your, uh, your entire systems. I have the library that's linked here in Figma, and then I have all of my, my components in the, in the first level. So it's gonna be avatars, which is like user profile pictures, um, company logos, then I have buttons, cars, Chrome extension, colors. So I added the division in a way that kind of makes sense for the project. Um, and each one of, the, of them, they have subdivisions. So for buttons, we have UI buttons, which are all of the buttons that I'm using regularly in the interface. And action buttons are gonna be buttons that are very specific to uh, certain other components. So I just, I don't, I didn't want to mix those two. Um, and then inside buttons, again, you have primary, secondary, primary with icon, secondary with icon, tertiary with icon. And then inside you have the state, so hover, default, disable, and active. Um, so this is gonna help you, first of all, um, keep everything organized, and second, it's gonna make you work faster because you're not gonna have all of these components basically laying at, uh, laying at the cell, same level of hierarchy, but you're gonna have subdivisions that's gonna help you search uh, by using those categories. So it's a lot more efficient and a lot more organized. And also if you're collaborating with other people, they're gonna kind of like understand it right away because everything has its own place and its own category.